hey, bro, let's have a quick conversation about where you're at and where I'm at. I think we can all agree that as men, we're expected to do way too much. And by way too much, I don't mean the work that we do, like the careers that we have or anything like that. It's that this there's overbearing weight on our life that we have to perform in every area, every arena of our life, whether it be as husbands, as parents, as providers, protectors, as pastors, whatever it is. And anybody who's literally watching this will know, and if you've lived for any amount of time, that that's true. People are always focused on our output and never our input. And you could go really far in life and you can do anything you want. And you're being taught constantly that you have to, you have to, you have to discipline yourself. You have to sacrifice so much. But here's the thing, no matter what you do, no matter how much you sacrifice, it is literally never enough. Can you vibe with that? It's literally never enough, no matter how much you do. So here's the thing, how long, how much longer can you go like that? How much longer can you continue to sacrifice away, throwing away good relationships, throwing away great friendships, throwing away things that are life giving not life taking all for the expense of what getting a little bit more money or a lot more money more women more drugs more sex more alcohol what is it what's your pleasure right that's the question how much longer but here's the thing luke chapter 9 verse 23 jesus says this and hear me out i know maybe you're struggling with faith Maybe you met Jesus a long time ago and don't know how to reconcile, or maybe you don't know Jesus at all, but you've had it with life. Hear me out. Jesus says this, and he said to all, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Jesus is saying, listen, following me is not easy. and You have to die to yourself in order to do so. But this is what he says. This is the promise that he makes us. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Jesus is giving you and I, men, a promise, men and women alike, that if we look for our life on our own terms, we're going to lose it. And at the end of it, it's not going to be worth literally anything when we look back. But if we chase after Jesus... If we find our life in Jesus, not only does he promise us eternal life, he says we will find our life because our life is rooted in Christ. So the question is, man, how much longer? How much longer can you go denying that we're broken and we need a savior and a Lord over our lives to give us direction? See ya.